Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robot Review. On today's show, we have a power pack lineup, including DARPA Subterranean Challenge Systems Competition, the robotic toolkit added to NASA's Mars rover. Oh yeah, I have my guest host Sandy with me today. Uh, we're also going to talk about how you can send your name to Mars, a lot of other great stuff, including a sneak peek into RoboMaster S1. The episode is going to premiere in the next couple of days. You're going to see this. Ready? Ready. Let's get started. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics, fantastic tech, and science. And today I have my special guest, Sandy. Hi. Along with me, your host, Elias. And it's good to have you here as always. We do have a power pack show for you today, so I'm going to get right to it. DARPA, Subterranean Challenge Systems Competition. Robots from all over the world will compete in the DARPA Subterranean Challenge Systems Competition. Robots will be tasked to autonomously map underground mining tunnels, navigate using artificial intelligence, and locate objects like cell phones or heated mannequins hidden underneath or within the course. The competition started today and will be held through the 22nd, and it's in the formerly operational mines managed by the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health Mining Program. I wish it was there. I know, me too. So we have 11 teams that will compete. Among them will be a team led by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, that features wheeled rovers, drones, and climbing robots that can rise on pinball flipper-shaped treads to scale obstacles. Now I'm paraphrasing and quoting directly from NASA, uh, they just posted this, this is hot off the press. Uh, JPL has partnered with Caltech, MIT, and K KAIST, formerly the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, to form the Collaborative Subterranean Autonomous Resilient Robot Systems Team, CoStar. So no humans are allowed in the tunnels. The team that uses its robots, robots to autonomously map the most objects to within five meters, or about 16 feet, of their location will win the tunnel circuit, the first of four stages. This will be followed by the urban circuit in February 2020, the cave circuit in August 2020, and the systems final in August 2021. Teams competing in that final event have the opportunity to win up to two million dollars in funding, according to DARPA. Why, seem, why don't we have a team? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think these are big corporate teams. <laughs> um, so, in the tunnel circuit, wheel rovers and tank-like track robots will cover the ground, while flying drones will find out-of-reach objects. Coasters drive a copter can do both driving over difficult terrain and flying along cave walls and through ceiling openings. However, it won't be used to identify and map items until the urban circuit. So this is held by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. The competition is intended to develop technology for first responders and the military to map, navigate, and search underground. But technology developed for the competition will also lay the foundation for future NASA missions to caves and lava tubes on other planets. Mm -hmm. Other planets. Mm -hmm. All right, so up next, robotic toolkit added to NASA's Mars 2020 rover. What is that? Um, so NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, or uh, JPL, has just added a robotic toolkit to the Mars 2020 rover. Um, the bit carousel is the heart of the rover sampling and caching system, and the system contains core drilling tools, including nine drill bits for attaining, storing, and transporting rock and soil samples. Um, depending on the action it's needed at the time, such as abrasion, drilling, core sampling, um, the carousel will spin to bring the necessary tool to the forefront. And then once the job is complete, the bit goes back into the carousel and out of the way. Um, for core sampling too, there's a sample tube that'll be inserted into the bit before the carousel moves so that it'll be all ready to go when it drills that sample out. Mm. It's already in the tube and ready to go and ready to be stored. Um, this bit carousel is the last piece to be installed into the rover's sample caching system, meaning that the rover's interior is pretty much complete at this point. Um, the next to be added are a battery and a camera to be used during landing. 
Uh, the rover is slated to be launched on July 17th of 2020 and will land on the um, Jezero crater, <laughs> Jezero maybe crater on Mars on February 18th of 2021 in preparation for human missions to Mars. So this, yeah, this rover is going to go find samples of rock and soil, collect them, you know, bring them. Oh, I, I don't know if they're bringing back, actually. It didn't say. <laughs> the next mission to um, Mars. Yeah, but it's going to be in preparation for those Mars missions with humans. Um, which actually brings us to the next topic. Um, you can essentially travel to Mars. You can travel with Elias and me. Um, there is a website through Mar NASA's web, uh, the NASA Gov site where you can submit your name to travel I the link below. with the rover to Mars on, NASA, on the, the website. So you can submit your name um, on the website and in the link. And um, you it's, it's really neat. It gives you a little boarding pass that you can print off and everything. Like the one right here. Yeah. So um, you can print your boarding pass. You can share it with all your friends. Tell them you're going to Mars. What you're really doing is adding your name to a chip that's going to be on the Mars 2020 rover when it lands on the planet. Just the one like we just talked about. Hmm? The one yeah, we just talked about. The one we were just talking about. And um, they did something similar with the Parker Solar Probe not too long ago. Both their names are on that as well, um, along with a couple million other people, oh, I yeah, think, yeah. including some celebrities. I, was I think in there. William Shatner was in there. Yeah, you're a celebrity. Oh my god. Either the corona that is the sun. That's right. Um, so it's really cool. If you want to go um, check out the website, add your name, and your name is going to Mars. Great. What else? Um, STEM what club. We, STEM club. That's right. What do we? What do we do today? Today. What did you do so yesterday? so yesterday and today. Um, I so I am a uh, special ed case manager at one of the local high schools, and um, today and yesterday was registration, and I am starting a brand new space and robotics being STEM club at the high school. It's going to be the first of its kind there, which we're really excited about. Um, Elias is our, our sponsoring us and is going to be helping us out with the club as well. So we had um, sign up and a table with some of the robots and some of our cool space stuff. Uh, at registration yesterday, today, uh, and we have kids signed up. Thirty-eight kids. I was hoping for maybe ten. <laughs> so this is really, really exciting. At the same time, very overwhelming. It's it's it's, it's a bigger responsibility. It is, but it's going to be amazing. Um, I'm really excited about it, and I'm excited. We have a lot of freshmen in particular that signed up, which is even better because then they can kind of follow the club up through the years and become mentors themselves. So. Good. It's good. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Yeah. I can't wait. Uh, so I'm, I'll be the robotic uh, mentor for the club, and I'm hoping other parents will step up and help mm -hmm. out as well. So oh, that's really cool. All right, really quick. Last time, last episode, I said I'm gonna give away one of these NASA really cool trucks. So let's see what it is. Right. So the requirement was you have to leave a comment down below, claim that you want this, and then send me an email to smallrobotsreview at gmail.com with your name and address. Now, a couple of folks claimed these, but never gave me their name and address. So, if you are one of those two people, make sure you go and send me to smallrobotsreview at gmail.com your name and address, and I will send you uh, the NASA trucks. And I have a spare one, so on this episode, I'm also giving out one of these. So, again, leave a comment down below. Whether you like the show, you didn't like the show, comments, stuff you want us to talk about in the future, any uh, robot reviews I should be doing, and say, hey, I want one of these. And the first one that claims it, uh, make sure you send me an email as well to smallrobotsreview.gmail.com, and I will send it to you. So we're good, right? Good? All right. NASA <laughs> sent. Good. All right. Last thing uh, before we... Uh, what's the last thing? One other thing. I got in the mail... Zoomy. <laughs> Zoomy. All right, so Zoomy was a Kickstarter project. It's a really neat little STEM robot. Uh, I totally I wish them well. I hope they do very well. Uh, I was part of the, uh, the folks that uh, supported the project. So I'm going to be reviewing this soon. Uh, it's got some really great features, including, including uh, gesture and object recognition. That's always good to see. I uh, know, and, oh, and speaking of gesture and object recognition, I'm going to leave you guys today with a sneak peek of the Robomaster S1 review I've been working on. 
which is probably the next Robot Wonder. Uh, make sure you tune in and watch that episode. I'm going to try and get it up tomorrow. If not, uh, you're going to see in a couple of days. But make sure you look out for that video. It's going to be a lot of fun. An incredible robot to see. Mm -hmm. So, with that, any last words? Um, no, I think that covers it. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs> Enjoy the clip, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.